What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how to do speed ramps inside DaVinci Resolve and when is the right time you should be using them. Let's get into it. Speed ramps is one of those effects that can really tie one clip to another, or maybe you're just trying to show a really long clip and you don't want it to be a 30 second long piece. You want to speed into the other part of the clip where something good is at. Well, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do this effect and then give you some tips on really when you should or shouldn't be doing this. Let's jump inside DaVinci Resolve and we'll get going. So the first thing you guys are gonna need is a clip that you want to speed ramp. Uh, I just grabbed this off of ArtGrid. I will have a link in the description below if you guys I want to check them out they've got amazing stock footage I've mentioned them many times before I've just got this fly over through Hong Kong uh, it is a really cool shot uh, so I just couldn't pass it up and I love how it goes from a Dutch angle from the left to the right uh, if you guys don't know what a Dutch angle is this is exactly what a Dutch angle is it is just where the camera is tilted uh, it is a really cool effect um, and it will work really well for our speed ramping the first thing we're going to do is right click on our clip. We are going to click on this retime controls. It's going to bring this up right here and we can actually pick where we want it to be. So I already know that this clip is a decent uh, slow speed. This would work best if this was at 60 frames or even 120 frames and you want to make it go faster or slower. So I'm not going to worry too much about slowing this down. What I am going to do is I'm going to kind of play this through right here. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna click on this little tab right here next to the 100% and I'm gonna add a speed point. And you can see if I zoom in right here, it drops this little thing in right here and I can grab it and move it if I want. But if I grab the top, it's gonna to slow that clip down. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to go back to normal. I can grab the bottom and I can move it wherever I want. If I grab the top, it's going to slow it down by stretching it out. You can see that it's changing that right there. So I'm gonna hit Command Z just to get it back to where I like. I think that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna go, let's say right here is pretty good. And we're gonna add another speed point. I'm gonna scroll down a little further. Let me play that through. That's pretty good right there. And we'll add one more speed point just for the purpose of this tutorial. And we'll go somewhere right about here. And we will go ahead and cut it and get rid of the rest because we don't need that long of a video clip. So let me zoom back out here so we can see our whole thing. So we've got three different speed points that we dropped in. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click on the little tab right here. Again, if you can't see it, you can always zoom in. I'm just pushing Command Plus on a Mac to zoom in. Uh, you can also grab this right here and zoom in and out however you're wanting. I'm gonna click this little tab right here. Uh, and I know I want this to start off normal, just a normal speed. So I'm gonna actually leave that one alone. This one right here is where I want to mess with. So I'm gonna grab that little tab. I'm gonna go down here to change speed and I'm gonna do 800% is what I'm gonna do right there. I'm gonna, that should be pretty good. I don't need that to be quite that long. So I'm actually gonna drag this in a little bit more, something like that. Yeah, five seconds should be good. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab this one and we're gonna to go to change speed and we're gonna do 800% as well. And you can actually grab it and drag it out a little longer if you need, but that should be pretty good. Now, if we play this through, you can see it speeds up, slows down. That's a little bit long and then speeds up again. So I'm actually gonna grab this, scoot it in a little bit more. So it's not such a long spot. Slows down, speeds up again. The main problem is, is it hits really hard and it doesn't smooths out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this speed ramp little tab right there. Right here, we can click on either keyframes. That would be for keyframes over here if we were actually changing the transform, which we're not. And then next to it, you've got this little wiggly looking line thing. Let me zoom in right here. We're gonna click on that and that's actually gonna bring up our curve. So you can see nothing's on there, but if I click on this little tab, we don't need zoom or nothing like that. What we need is retime speed right here. And if I click that, you can see it shows where our speed markers are at. Now we can click on this little ball right here and we can hit that and it's gonna smooth it out. You can actually grab these and smooth it out as much as you want. If you want it to be a lot, if you want it to be short, we're gonna do the same thing, smooth it out, maybe a little bit less, that way it kind of is a little bit different and we will kind of speed this one actually up a little bit more 
just like that. Now if we play that through, you can see it's a lot smoother going into those. Now I would use this effect sparingly. If you do it too much, it really does lose the impact of what this effect does. The whole purpose of this is just to kind of speed you one way into another, kind of segue you from one clip to the next a little more seamlessly. If you just use this constantly over and over and over again, it really gets repetitive and your viewers will get very tired of it. So I would use this very sparingly. It is a really cool effect and it does have its purpose, but again, keep in mind how much you're actually gonna be using this effect. A problem I have is sometimes I wanna go faster than 800%. So I'm actually going to right click on this. I'm gonna to go to Retime Control. I'm gonna find right where I'm at and I'm gonna click on my timeline not clicking on the clip, I'm gonna add a marker. I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna add another marker, and I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna add one more marker. That way, I know where these are set. I'm gonna close that, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna hit New Compound Clip. We're just gonna set that. I'm gonna hover over these markers, and I'm gonna click on the clip this time, add a marker, do the same thing, make sure I'm clicked on the clip, add another marker, go to this one, add another marker. Now what we can do is we can actually right click on this clip again and we can go to retime controls. We can add a speed point there. We can add another speed point and we can add another speed point right there. Now if we want to we can click on the 100% because it's already sped up so we can add 200 more percent and it's going to make it be even faster. So if it plays that through it's way faster. And if we do the same thing to this one, we'll do another 200%. That way it's really fast. I went on ahead and added these markers on the clip and up here because once you speed this up, it's gonna be moved off of this. So I just use these as a starting point and then I add the markers afterwards. If you try to add the markers on top of your video clip before you make it a new compound clip, it will not pull the markers over. I'm not 100% sure why. Uh, it may just be a bug inside DaVinci Resolve. Maybe they'll fix that in a future update. You can see if we zoom into the video clip, we actually don't have that little curve little button right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom back out. We're gonna right click and we're just gonna go the retime curve right here. Now if we click down, we go the retime speed. Let's uncheck retime frame because we don't need that. Retime speed is right here. We're gonna click that, do the same thing, smooth it out, click that, smooth it out. Last one, smooth it out. Now if I copy this clip, move it over here just to show you guys with that being so fast there, that way it whips from one to the other instead of a hard cut. There you go guys, that's how you do speed ramps inside DaVinci Resolve. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, it really does help the video. Drop a comment below, let me know on some other tutorials and videos you would like to see. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to make something to help you guys out. If you're new here, consider subscribing, ringing the bell, doing all the things. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace.